Sundance is a fabulous place to discover the very best. alive with people seeing films, with people having talks, with people meeting new each other. Each person had a great story to tell and how they got into the industry and what they're looking to do. I also just moved to London so it's very much about meeting as many people as possible. Having amazing conversations and there's so much support, like I, I soft pitched an idea of mine and people come up to me and say, that's really interesting, have you thought about this? And we swap an email. What looks like a tawdry gothic horror is actually a superhero origin story. And each year we get about 11,000 short films. Well, I mean, this is like an independent filmmaker's utopia here. We need a picture house in LA, so any of you picture house people here, if you could please build one there. You know, you always have to look at the kind of ruling establishment as something to either serve you or for you to find a way to break it down. It requires a lot of work, a lot of just bringing all sorts of people together, trying to make something together, and I just really love that part of it. The thing that I learned when it comes to my voice was a visual voice for, for this part of my life as an artist. We're really open to working with producers from film, from TV, who have been working in storytelling for such a long time. You know, we wanted to do something that pulled the audiences into the world and then like, you know, start with a bang and we wanted every corner to reveal something new. With someone like Ira, you feel that you have their entire attention and there's nothing that they miss. We had a good time in the 70s. You should have been there. He is a sort of seminal very, very important American filmmaker of the new queer cinema. How many people in this audience have never seen the Doom Generation before? Oh my God, really? Enjoy the Doom Generation. <laughs>